Hey guys, Alex here, and uh, we're going to do a review on this movie called Overdrive. As you guys know, I like uh, car movies, and it's been a while since I've seen a, a good uh, current car movie, and I haven't seen it yet, so I can't say if it's good or bad yet. I'm going to take it out of its plastic here. Hey guys, just finished watching Overdrive. And I gotta say, this movie was a lot better than I expected it to be. Um, I would say uh, this movie is probably more clever than most of the Fast and Furious movies. Um, I did like the the, uh, the twist at the end, because in the trailers they, they direct you into thinking one thing, but what actually happens is something else happening. But uh, I won't spoil that if you guys ever want to watch it. But yeah, I watched it mainly because you know, I like car movies, and... There was maybe one or two, maybe three, uh, pretty uh, pretty decent uh, car scenes. I mean, they weren't fantastic, but they weren't terrible either. They were they were okay. Um, I still don't like all the cuts that they use, but it wasn't as bad as 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 the trailers showed. Like it, it, there weren't that many cuts, but there there still were a lot more cuts than I, I prefer. But uh, yeah, definitely definitely a fun movie. And, uh, yeah, most of the, uh, the cars in this movie were European. There was, like, one, uh, Ford Mustang, but for the most part, they were all, like, Ferraris, Bugattis, BMWs, uh, whatnot. But still, uh, still, still fun. What, what I like about, uh, this movie, Overdrive, versus the Fast and Furious movies, is that in Overdrive, the point of this movie were the cars, but in, uh, in most of the Fast and Furious movies, the point of those cars were were like, you know, heists or pulling off, pulling off some really outrageous mission. Um, I feel like the Fast and Furious movie strayed away from, from what the, uh, the movie was, uh, what the movies were about, and that was about the cars. But in Overdrive, the whole point of this movie was stealing cars. And you can tell that whoever wrote this movie, directed it, whatever, they all liked, you know, they all had a, a passion for cars, albeit they were European cars, but, you know, cars are cars. I prefer American, but it was still it was still cool to see that you know this movie as opposed to Fast and Furious, the point of it were the cars. Um, now there there was one weakness I would say towards the middle end of the movie, um, you know there were no car scenes and it, it kind of bogged down just a little bit. But uh, overall, th there were there was enough action se sequences featuring cars that that you know you you got. What you what you what you you came here for, and that was seeing a lot of cars. Um, but again, you know the, the car scenes weren't fantastic, like you know, like like Baby Driver, or I don't know, like Gone in sixty seconds, the original. But they, they were they were they were still good, and I did like the two main leads, uh, Scott Eastwood and Freddie Thorpe. They were actually uh, very memorable. You know, I was I was thinking you know they'd be very forgettable, but I actually uh, I actually enjoyed their performances. And, uh, yeah, I would say this movie is definitely worth checking out. I mean, it, it's, it's not going to blow your mind in terms of car action, but it's, it's not going to bore you to tears. I, it, it was definitely something to watch. And uh, I, I would recommend it for a current car movie, but I, I guess in the whole pantheon of, of legendary car movies, like, you know, the original Gone in 60 Seconds, Vanishing Point, Baby Driver... You know those kind of movies. This one won't quite hold a candle up to them, but again, it's it's still decent, it's still fun, and there's it's not a bad movie. So I watched it, liked it. Can't really say anything else about it.